Good morning, guys. And here I am, down in my basement. What am I doing down here, you may ask? What I'm actually doing is I have this sort of memory that they have changed the trap doors and that we now have different trap doors. Oh, we do. Oh, we do. Guys, look at this. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> oh, don't you just love that? And the dark oak. Wow. I was looking. I'm going to put these up. Then we can see them in all their glory. So that is the dark oak. Obviously the acacia, don't fall down the hole. That's the oak, that's the traditional one. Oh my goodness, guys. Look, that's only five of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. What haven't I got? Dark oak, jungle. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm not that keen on jungle wood, but we should have it. For completion. I just did that wrong. Right, let's have a look at the jungle. These are going to match the doors beautifully, guys. These are going to match the doors beautifully. Look at that. Now look, six different designs. No, they've added five different designs. But what a difference this is going to make to us. Look at this. Can you imagine windows out of the acacia? And also these jungle ones look very much like grates, don't they? And I love the detail, like the little window latches. If you want to use them for shutters, they'd be fantastic. Really, really nice, guys. But this one, which is the... That's the spruce that's the design i want i'm going to leave those there's guys because those are absolutely stunning great and what i want to do let's make some more where's our wood chest let's uh put our goodies in there i want spruce i've got one um yeah i've got a lot of spruce so i'm okay Thank goodness. So let's just do this. There's something I want to make out of this and I'm gonna need four. One, two, three. That should give me five, that will do. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm all right. All right. Only I have seen this done by other people and it looks so good thing is that we all we don't have a proper well because the cauldron you have to keep refilling so what you actually need is something that is a source block um that ladder's there hmm i want something very close to here i'll tell you what we can do Let's take out the andesite block. It does look good there, doesn't it, guys? It does look good there. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll put it on the opposite side here. Um, will this... Now, I need, to, I need to think quite carefully about this. Dash it, the diamond is in the way. Right, let's use what we have for that one diamond. I want to save the others for when I have a better. Um, I've only got a fortune two, I think it is, isn't it? Fortune two, yeah. I mean, it's better than no fortune, but let's just take that one out. Oh, well, we got two diamonds, that will do. All because I want to build a trap door now. Right, let's try and get this place equipped with that. Oh, right. Let's 
start again with this. Let's think about this. If I put it there, that's what I want to do. Right, so you have to put it from there. That's it. It's all learning, guys. Now, I reckon that I ought to be able to take the water out of here. No, no. That disappeared. And my water's gone from there. Uh, let's try another one. What happened there? I ought to be able to put a water block in here. Oh gosh. No, no, no. There we go. You had to press shift. Right, now, is that a source block? Well, it looks wonderful as a barrel of water. Maybe it is. Let's try it with a water bottle. Can I fill a water bottle from it? Gosh. Oh. <laughs> yes, I can. Okay, right. Oh my goodness. Let's get those two in there. Then we can pick up this other water bottle. Oh goodness. That is going to look a lot better than what I had over here. And this candle's gone out. Yeah, I think I'm going to take this down because it's rather an awkward um, combination. Let's put that there. So I've got one water bottle, two water bottles. Okay. And in here, I want to change that to awkward potion and then I'm going to make some more water breathing and I've turned the other three water breathing to eight and let's put our diamond away I need better stuff so I need to make some diamond stuff right and I lost I lost an absolutely fan yeah my torches were washed away weren't they I lost an absolutely fabulous um, fishing rod, which is very unfortunate, but that's the way life goes sometimes. Okay, let's put you in there. Okay, and that will make it into water breathing, and then we need to add one redstone to bring it to eight minutes, and that will be worth doing, guys. That will be worth doing. That's put our water buckets together water breathing come on guys it, it doesn't take long actually I need yeah let me put that other blaze powder in there ready for when that one runs out this is amazingly useful I'm gonna go and have to collect more um, blaze rods All right water breathing water breathing water breathing okay good right i'm going to go and put my stuff away tidy up and then i'm going to do a bit of work on the side of my aquarium see you later guys houston we have a problem <laughs> Water has changed. It goes through half blocks. Right. Oh Lord. Is that going to go away? I need one of those. Right. All right, let's try and put something in there. Why isn't that going away? Right. 
Okay, that will have wiped out all the torches down here. Wow. Oh my goodness, what a mess. Okay. All a learning curve when you've got new stuff. I see no torches there. All right, what about the other side? No, I think we're okay. Yeah, we like those. We really like those. Okay, good. Right, well, having... Uh, let's put the water back. So we now know that to make these wonderful water barrels, you need a full block underneath them. And you hold shift to put them in. There we go. But it does look good as a water barrel, doesn't it, guys? Look at that. I don't like the fact that it's not even, but that does make a nice water barrel. Now, did you see in the latest update where they were saying that they uh, they might? What am I doing here? Um, well, they, there was something that looked like a water barrel uh, in the mm, words, words, words in the latest update 1.14 it looked very very much like a water barrel oh god <laughs> right so we now have another three bottles i wondered where the other bottle had gone all right okay that will make into a water breathing potion all right guys problem solved Okay guys, time to take a water breathing potion. I've got two and to release the fish. Now I thought you would enjoy this. So this is Ah, oh, lovely. Gosh, look at all these buckets. Do they stay no? Whoa, look at that. That's a dotty fish. Don't know what that one was. Butterfly fish and red snapper. So let's do the butterfly fish. Oh, and I got one of those. And a red snapper. Nice. Okay. A blue tang and an anemone. So let's do the anemone first. Oh. Blue tang. What's clicking? It's nothing to harm me. Here we are. A stripy red and blue and a trigger fish. So, yep, does what it says on the can. Trigger fish, nice. And then we've got, I'm not sure how you pronounce this, a red cichlid and a bucket of tropical fish, a thread fin. Right, nice. Oh, lovely. Now, is that all? Yes. So, and we already had a salmon and one butterfly fish in. So, now, now we have life. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Whoa. Oh, we like that. We do like that. I hope they don't despawn. Are they in here? Some of, yes, they are. Yes. I think we need a few more fish, don't you guys? Where are they all? Oh, they're all over here. Nice. Oh, look at that. Guys, look at this. Oh, it's the salmon that's got stuck in there. I hope he doesn't die. He did. Right. That has to come out quickly. Because they're taking it up to the surface. That's not good. And that must have been what I heard. My fish are dying because they're being taken up. And then they can't breathe. So that clicking sound I heard was nothing that could damage me but it's gonna kill my fish. So much for that great idea about how it would look good.
right okay let's get that out of there and I need a couple of sand blocks gosh now that should mean that my fish are okay is that right or are they gonna die up there don't tell me the kelp's gonna kill them they should be able to get out of the kelp oh oh I've lost two I don't know which two how irritating right well not good not good well seeing as we have a raw salmon we'll cook it and we've got another one of these clown fish mm, I think I might be able to cook those raw cod raw salmon that's from my fishing expeditions um, let's just park that there I think I might go and see if I can collect more fish gosh I'm learning today guys I am learning today I'm learning that bubble elevators may look gorgeous in fish tanks but unfortunately they kill the fish which is not good not good at all but even though I'm cross with myself, where are all those buckets? There we are. Um, for uh, not knowing that and killing a couple of fish. Of course, now I've got that real problem. I've got to work out which one died. I know it was a red salmon. Oh, but these were all the fish I had. I had 11 different varieties. And I don't know which one has died. Oh, no. Oh no! <laughs> I'll get back to you guys. Bye bye! I've just lost another fish. They're coming up to the top. And then they're dying. I can't think what pushed them up over here. Is it the weed? I think it's the kelp. I think they get up above the kelp. And however gorgeous this kelp looks, we are not going to have dying fish in here. I think they go up to the top and then they balance on the kelp. And the kelp takes them up out of the water. So I have lost a lot of fish. Yeah you can come out but they swim up onto the kelp and then they swim up and they get stuck on top and then they swim sideways and because they're in an aquarium they don't swim off into another block they die so we have had a lot of fish death here guys and this is not good so the kelp is not um, happy making so I'm taking out the kelp which won't look as good but maybe the answer am I drowning now I am Oh gosh, I'm drowning now, along with the fish. I think the answer is not to have the kelp by the edge. That has to be it, doesn't it? Because if they are getting pushed up on the kelp, where they were drowning was in the corner. So basically, anywhere the kelp is near the edge, if they're on top of the kelp, I think this is right, they must be able to slide off it unless the kelp is next to a hard surface because where they were dying was here hmm yeah that's a lot of fish I've lost there now let's have a look they're in this corner yeah they're okay as long as there's not kelp right in the corner so let's 
have another think about this and let's put some kelp down here not in the corner so I'll put one there what I drank a water breathing potion or maybe I didn't let's drink one anyway okay can we please heal up right and we are planting kelp where it's not near an edge yeah that must be the problem if at first you don't succeed try and think you're oh don't tell me you're drowning as well oh goodness go back in they jump out right we have to stop them coming out maybe the answer is to put a lip around this so they can't get out I think that's the answer so we need half slabs I think um, yeah that will do it oh my goodness who I know that keeping fish is actually not easy in real life I didn't realize it was going to prove so very very difficult so it's not just the kelp it's the fact oh gosh that they can actually jump out um, let's take a couple of those onto the side so we need to put a lip around it gosh aquarium management is difficult this is really a huge learning curve for me and hopefully guys watching my mistakes you will learn how not to do it right right we are going to have and of course we can't then put light there oh. we'll think of another way to do this right more slabs needed I mean it's no bad thing having a lip it will look attractive it's just that I'm just very very surprised that these flipping fish can leap out and die on me I think I'm going to call this episode aquarium management is really difficult <laughs> or getting it right with aquariums is really difficult now that should stop them coming out but as we all know the proof of the pudding as we say in England is in the eating I've also found when you're dealing with sandstone it is so much better not to use very very powerful picks Mm, if I'd realised I had to do this lip, I would have put that one out. But I'm not building a whole aquarium now. That should stop the dying of the fish. But I do like it being lit up a bit more. So let's just put some extra slabs. Yeah, you're good luck in coming up here, guys. And we'll put that there. I don't know how wide this is. I didn't count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That's very convenient. So you can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that should be the midpoint. I, it's not even all the way around, of course. What? What? Oh, great. Good. Well, at least some of the fish are still alive. Right. 
good. Let's put another light there and one there. I mean, just to make it look nice as much as anything. I think we, we don't need one there, but for completion's sake, we should have one. Then it's even all the way around. Okay. Right, guys. Time to go fish hunting. Hi, guys. Welcome back. I've been out fishing. I have found another salmon to replace the one I lost and I've got some cod now. Now I think I've already got cod. Let me take my last water breathing potion. I have been out there fishing and I have been watching the fish and in the wild they do come up to the top of the kelp. They bounce a bit but then they normally go off to one side. So let's just put our salmon back Aha, uh -huh, that's good. And then I already have a cod, but so we are now gradually, there we are. Yeah, they are all looking a lot better. A lot, lot better. Yeah, they're going up to the top, but they're not bouncing up onto the edge. And we are gonna grow some kelp in the middle where they can bounce off, aren't they? Pretty, pretty, pretty. Right. I have learnt a lot in this episode. I have learnt a lot. Um, I have managed to get 14. I think there are 64 different varieties of fish, guys. Oh, this could get incredible. Thank God I've got a lot of walls around this thing. But not only have I learnt a lot, uh, but I've learnt about the trapdoors and I have learnt that to fish, is that the puffer fish out there? If it is, I'm in trouble. Let's see if we can catch whatever this is. This is terrible. It's, you know that this sort of thing, oh, nice. Come here. Yes. I've also learned that it, oh. Yes. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, we have a new hobby, collecting fish. I collect flowers, I collect trees. Oh my goodness me. I just want to get on shore to this wreck. I might take this down actually, I'm not sure this, I suppose it adds to it. Yellow tang I don't think I've got, and an ornate blood, butter fly fish I haven't got. So I'm very fortunate because my house overlooks a big coral reef. So I can easily go and collect anything I want to. Now, when I came up here, I know somebody put all these, uh, yeah, I find lots of pretty flowers still there. Look at my alliums, they're beautiful. So I have lots and lots of gorgeous flowers. I haven't checked whether I've collected them all yet. That's another thing for another day. But I think a row of ornamental flowers along here would look good. But now we know that when we are building aquariums, they need a lip to stop the fish jumping out. And we mustn't grow uh, things next to the edge, such as bubble elevators and kelp. The kelp in the middle is gonna be fine because I know that they will drop off to one side or the other. So I'll probably put a bit more kelp in. Um, but in the meantime, we are, have got the beginnings of a stunning aquarium. I've learnt a lot in this episode, guys. So I think I might award myself the badge of Aquarium Keeper. Bye-bye. <laughs>